Good evening everyone, Brother James here, coming to you tonight with a video message. Thank you for joining me here this evening in the woods. Thank you for clicking on this video. I um, hope everyone is well today. Uh, just We are praying for some folks that came down with COVID-19 and uh, keep let's keep our friends and family in our, in our prayers, guys. Uh, this is some bad stuff out there. Uh, but God is still on the throne. Um, he is the Almighty Physician. So tonight, this study is going to be Romans. Back on Romans chapter 14. And I thought I was going to do the whole chapter. But I think I'm going to go ahead and break it down to just three verses tonight. Because there's so much meat in these three verses. That I also want to keep the video, you know, 10 to 15 minutes long. Um, because I think... Um, Facebook it takes us forever to sometimes forever to load videos on Facebook and YouTube by the way um, but anyway we're gonna do the first first three verses and we'll just talk about it so uh, again Romans chapter 14 verses 1 through 3 him that is weak in the faith receive ye but not to doubtful disputations for one believeth that he may eat all things another who is weak eateth herbs let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. And let him not which eateth not judge him that eats. For God has received him. So this would be a great chapter. If you have a new believer, gather, gather them around the computer screen or on your phone. And listen to this. this is a great message for a new believer and a seasoned uh, Christian as well. Because for the new believer... Um, some could tend to be real religious when they first get saved. Um, they think, again, they think they have to clean themselves up. And I think that's just human nature kicking in right there. But also for the seasoned Christian that might be sitting under a uh, backload of gospel works, um, fruit inspecting, you know, um, messages that you hear at church, this would be a great... A message for you too. Um, so I believe this one here um, again we all went through or I have I'll just speak for myself we all have went through a judgmental phase you know uh, what what can I do what can I not do can I cut grass on Sunday can I do this do, do we you know have to observe this Sabbath you know all that stuff and Paul sets the record straight here in Romans chapter 14 and this is a really great I'm going to try to apply it to these day, days and times too, but we're going to talk about application too. Um, so, verse 1, it says, Him that is weak in the faith, receive ye. So, if you see this one here, it says, Paul says to receive. Receive means uh, that Paul concludes that the person seems to be real religious. The, the one that's real religious is the weaker, the weaker one. Or, in this context here, you have Jews and Gentiles here in Rome. So you see two, two, two classes of uh, people here in Rome. You see the Jews that follow the Torah, and there's things that they were doing all their, all their life. Can you imagine? You know, you've been uh, trained under a certain system, then you come out of, out of a system. You're going to bring those habits with you. You know, it's not a light switch, you know. So you have the Jews and you have the Gentiles. You know, Rome is a, is a pagan country. So Gentiles, they get saved. They, 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 they say we can eat whatever we want. But the Jews, they are um, still bringing over their habits, their, their law-keeping sort of uh, from the Torah. And, they, and Paul wants to set this record straight because he noticed, you know, he got word back. There's some... Um, our arguments or some opinions and that we shouldn't judge one want judge one another so again this is means to receive means to grant one's access to one's heart so you receive somebody you see receive a new believer you grant them in to your heart it means to take into friendship be reunited to themselves by the blessing of the gospel again receive them without discerning or judging slash criticizing them on their op opinions. So those folks that are stronger in the faith. So he he sees here, right now in this in this time, 
period here, the Jews are the weaker, weaker believer, and the Gentiles are the stronger believer. Um, verse 2 says, For one believes that he may eat all things. That would be the Gentile. Another, who is weak, eats herbs. Um, verse 2 says, One may think, I have here, one may think he can eat all things, and the other, and the other that is weak, may think eating herbs is better for them spiritually. A um, few points here. I think this is interesting. It's interesting to me that Paul concludes that the person seems that the person that seems to be real religious is the weak, weaker one, as I've just mentioned. The Jew or the religious one is the weaker believer. So, as I start out, you see two different classes of people here. You see the Jews and Gentiles trying to come together. They're trying to come together as a body. They are wrestling with one another. They are wrestling, and but, but they are growing too at the same time. They are wrestling with one another. They are growing at the same time. Um, so again, uh, the third point I see here today, um, you know, you see you, today, you see today you have two different classes of people that are wrestling. I'm going to talk what is going on in this present time with Christians about these masks and vaccinations. You see the Christians already dividing, already judging, passing judgment on other Christians over a piece of cloth that may help, may, I words use, may help to prevent a virus or help uh, mitigate. Mitigate would be the proper term because the mask aren't, is not 100%, but it, but it could mitigate the effects of it. And you see Christians that are wrestling with one another over the the vaccination. Again, the vac the mask and the and the and the vaccination are mitigation mitigation uh, procedures to help lessen severity of this virus. You we we are now, you know, coming against one another. You know, you walk into a church. How many of them down deep wish they could wear a mask in there without being judged? That's got to stop, Christian folks, believers. That's got to stop because you should not be passing judgment about someone that, that, who, that, that gets the vaccine or the mask. Or on the other side, we should not be looking at the unbeliever or unbeliever, the, um, the other Christian that decides not to wear a mask and not to be vaccinated. That is their right. That is their business. The only thing, the business that we need to tend to is the, is the business of God. That's it. So we can, uh, the application here today is when you see a Christian brother or sister that's wearing a mask or not wearing a mask, we need to love them. We need to love them through it. We need to not pass judgment on them, meaning criticize them in this context as criticizing. We need to uh, think about what is the greater purpose here? They are believers in Christ. That's it. And this, these shenanigans got to stop. Um, verse 3 says, Let not him that eateth despise him that eats not, and let him not which eats not judge him that eats. And I love this last part in verse 3. For God has or hath received him and when i really meditated on this verse i i stood up and this one pulled me out of my chair because what i found here is paul says to give in verse 3 paul, my my thoughts here paul says to give that person the freedom to do what he or she thinks is right and do not despise them we are not to judge or criticize another person's conscience for god has received them, him. So, again, did you hear? Did you hear what I said in the last part? Part of part three, uh, verse three says, "For God has received past tense him. He is he or she is in the Father's hands, and no man can pluck you out. They have been received. Received here is the aorist tense, a verb that is undefined action, and that's good news." 
i.e., a one-time event. God has received you. If you place your trust in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ for the remissions of all your sins, past, present, future, and you place your trust there, He received you. He received you, past tense. One-time event. Um, let's go to Romans 8, 35. We are the Lord's and nothing can separate, separate us from the love of God. Let's go down, down to Romans 8, 35. We'll read that. It says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? That's good news, folks. You just, you just saw Paul trying to get these new believers, the Jew and the Gentile, to come as one body. To come alongside each other and not judge one another. It gets pretty good. It gets pretty good down down deep. You can read the whole chapter if you like. Um, but I think this is a great chapter for a new a, a new study, a new chapter to study for a new believer. Or if you know somebody that's a food inspector that's been under legalism, been in bondage, um, being real religious. You know, I almost titled this. Um, I almost talk, I was going to talk about a subject, but I'm not going to yet unless the Lord really speaks to my heart about it. I was going to, I was going to call this uh, this video or name this video um, a burger and a beer or beer and a burger burger because you always hear that question. You know, brother James, is is it okay to have a beer with my burger? But I'm going to leave that one right there. But um, but anyway, this is such good news. How Paul wants to mix the t the the two. Uh, classes together, so to speak, the Jews and the Gentile, and he try, he's trying to uh, get them to see, don't judge one another, because God has received you, and that's all, that's what he's getting at, that's all that matters, so the one that is weaker, that is real, real religious, is, is the weaker one, and the one that, that knows who they are, and whose they are, and they know their scriptures, they know their scriptures, they are the stronger one, Therefore, they will, um, they have their own conscience, and we can't judge each other's consciousness. But I want to end up, go back to verse, uh, chapter 14, and, and this can apply, because the reason why I can say this can apply to just about anything, just because what it says here in verse 23. Well, we'll read verse 22 and verse 23. Chapter 14, verse 22 says, Hast thou, have, hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before God happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth and he that doubts is damned if he eats because he eateth not of faith for whatsoever is not of faith is sin so underline that that the verse there um, I would I would call that verse 23 the la the latter part of it for whatsoever that's the whatsoever for whatsoever is not of faith is sin now they're not talking about this guy he's going to he's going to be damned to hell that's not what that is that means he's that means he's, this person that's going against his conscience is going to punish himself he's going to punish himself and rake himself over the coals and when he does that he's not being true to this true to his faith he don't know who he is he's not rooted and grounded in the word of god so actually since he has a lack of faith in this area he's sinning that's all that is doesn't mean he's condemned to hell. It means he is he is sinning, and we're we're going to continue to sin. So if you're listening to this video message right now, um, I pray that this message uh, will go forth into the ears and into the hearts of the unbeliever unto salvation, and to the believer to edification, building up the body. But if you have not placed your trust in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ alone for your salvation, now's the time to do it. It's, it's simple to do. It's simple as childlike faith. Um, he died for your sins past present future you can't pay it you're not perfect he is he is the spotless lamb that takes away the sin of the world and he died for you he paid that sin debt there is a debt that needs to be paid he alone paid it with his precious blood it's a death the burial and the resurrection place your trust there but i hope you enjoyed this video message i love you and i'll catch up with you soon bye bye